What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to Mortal Kombat X. Today we're showing off the DLC character Goro. I'm taking Goro and his crazy ground pound action to a traditional tower here just to see how far we can go with the big forearmed man. If you guys enjoy this video and want more character showcases, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see next. I just thought Goro was the perfect first character uh, with the full game because he is the pre-order bonus, the DLC character, and he's pretty darn cool. He is big, but against Bug Lady, he should be okay. I despise Claptrap. And let us not delay. Goro basically does a fatality like before the round even starts. He has some really sick moves um, that I'll try to show off here. Um, this one, well, Goro doesn't make things easy on us, but this one, if we can clear some space, he like pounds the ground, and when that's used as a special move, here, we'll do it here. It does some insanely cool damage. Um, he's got a chest charge into a throw. He has a punch walk, which is just really cool as well. Um, he's just... I normally don't like big characters. I fell in love with, with Doomsday um, in Injustice because I thought he was really, really well done. And it seems like they've just taken that and, and, and implemented it here in Mortal Kombat X. I know these characters are, you know, from past games, but I feel like the speed is just at the right point where they feel slow and heavy, um, but not too much, you know what I mean? Hopefully we'll get some of his fatalities in here as well. You can see his move list. Um, we've used the chest lunge, the quake, um, the punch walk. He does have a bolt attack and then a stomp, which is interesting here. Um, he comes up and against the ground. Uh, it's just no buttons, Round ironically. He just jumps up, and that's almost like a Doomsday, like, Injustice cell move. I wonder if I can combo that with a power attack. Let's see. Oh, I can. Cool. Interesting. So you can make that a more powerful version. Um, he also has this bolt. This Devorah uses her, like, bug grenade, which I love. Devorah is probably my favorite character in the game. But Goro is, like, really cool. What's the range on this jump? I'm not very far. I like that ground attack as well. Um, and then he has two different fatalities, um, I believe, here. Let's see if it pops up it doesn't so um his fatalities are peekaboo and shokan amputation um which these are not the left down down up should be pretty easy for us to do i hope there we go all right so you get to see this one his second fatality um he oh god that's like a move straight out of the muppets but made mature rated it's like gonzo in the stretch machine and goro gone ham so that is goro man Let's continue on, keep pushing forward. Um, I have been playing the game on both PS4 and Xbox One and loving it across both platforms. Um, the story mode is cool, but just like the regular battles and stuff are super fun as well. Um, I can definitely do more of these character spotlights. Some of them will probably be in towers, some may be just straight up one-on-one -on -one fights, um, but it's a cool way for us to kind of like focus in our gameplay. So let me know who you may want to see. And um, we'll take Goro a couple more rounds and try to get a little bit more into his character uh, with his crazy four arms. We'll see if we can get the other fatality. I'm not normally the best at doing the fatalities, but uh, that one worked out really well. Um, you can buy fatalities in this game, which has been sort of like a... People have like questioned if that's like a good thing, a bad thing. I think it's fun. Like, if you can't do the fatalities, if you just want to, you know, have fun and make it look cool, it doesn't impact the game at all, so I'm like, who cares? It's just an option for people who don't have maybe the skill that you have. Alright, what is his Shao Kahn grab? Down... Back for A. Hmm. Round two. Fight. Oh, I almost got it there. Come on. There we go. It's this. Okay. He goes for punches with his, his arms. So that's the benefit of having four arms. It probably would pay off in a lot of ways. Coming at him with that punch walk. I like that too. Like Goro just like he just is his character so much. Like he's a big brutal puncher, and every move is just like, hey, I just walk through life punching people like I'm crazy. But then he also manages to come in and surprise you with a little uh, projectile attack as well. I think he's one of the coolest characters to be. And one of his other variations has like a um, a dragon breath thing, which is really cool. He can breathe fire like he's freaking I don't know someone out of Game of Thrones or something. Come on, man. I don't have the move I thought I did, but we'll finish him off right there. Um, his other fatality, peekaboo, back forward down B. Uh, there we go. Get to see both of them in this episode, which is pretty awesome. Oh, this one is gross. I can't watch this one. <sighs> he puts his head in his stomach. Just so freaking brutal. It's like something out of like Dragon Ball Z R-rated. Um, we're just cruising through this tower. You can play a bunch of different towers. There's ones that add modifiers. There's just standard ones. And you can set the difficulty um, and then go for high scores. And I'm sure you'll unlock stuff along the way. Um, this is playing on medium, which is the default difficulty that you'll find like in the story mode. Um, 
Or if you just turn on the game. We meet again. And I will crush you again. <laughs> you will die, an arrogant fool. Round Goro has rights Fight. to be arrogant, though. This guy is just a monster. I love that he has a, a simple move like this. Like, it's not the quickest move, but it's pretty sweet. Scorpion cancel our super there. Um, we should probably build up an x-ray, um, just so you guys can see that. We're looking to show all things Goro here. That's the chest charge. And then there's the fireball. Um, that's the chest charge. Where's the punch walk? Oh. Punch walk is B with B. Okay, so I forget the freaking moves. It is convenient how they put all the best moves, like, right on the screen there. I love that a lot. I think it's super smart. I wish every fighting game would do that. I know more of them are, but Mortal Kombat just seems to be able to convey, and Justice did the same thing, convey the moves really concisely to everybody. So even if you're a beginner player, you're able to, like, have a good time and do cool things. Um, and they do a smart thing online. You can pause it, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually pause it. Um, so you can quickly bring up the move and bring it down. I've done that. I'm especially trying out new characters, playing against some of my friends. This is kind of a good thing, though, Scorpion, building up our uh, X-ray meter. We'll have a chance to show it off here. Come on. Yes, there, we'll get it. Sweet, I've never seen this one. Oh my god, total spine breakage. And then pulling him in half. I don't know how Scorpion gets up, but uh, we'll just give him a little love tap to finish the fight. Sayonara, sir. Ooh. He's definitely like an animal. He's got a sure beasthood inside of him, as you can tell by his arms and eyes and just everything. That's pretty awesome. All right. Cruising right along. Who awaits us floor four? It's Raiden. I think there's ten floors to this. I'm not entirely certain. Um, but it does get progressively harder as you crawl up the towers. And they've done a smart thing of, like, integrating these more um, developer design towers. So... There will be like new things in the game, so you can always try like new challenges, and they plan on keeping it like very, um, trying to keep it just like constantly new content. That's like, I, I got to go visit Nether Realm, and that was one thing that they really talked about was that they wanted to sort of make this like a Mortal Kombat game that would last for a really long time. Alright, come on, Goro getting ham here. Oh, or getting hammed, I don't know. Gosh! That is the, uh, the, the charge stomp, or like the with a super. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything different like visually. It just does more damage than that one. I love that ground pound. It's such a sweet move. All right, Goro. I remember the Mortal Kombat uh, movie. I, like the, the live action movie. I watched it at an Indian Guides event, which is like Boy Scouts where I live. Um, and like, I felt really guilty because I was like, I know my mom won't let me. I was only like, I don't know, like eight or nine years old. And it was like a spooky PG-13 movie. I had like really no desire to see it, but I ended up watching it anyways. And Goro at the end, like, man, he has such a weird freaking model. I saw that mask at Netherrealm. It's pretty freaking scary. Ow. Let me jump up. This will finish him off. Yep. All right. Um, what, what are his fatalities again? It's hard for me to remember these. You can buy the easy fatalities, but I'm all out. Back down, down, up. You want to see this one more time. It gets you extra coins and stuff, too, when you do fatalities and do special moves. You're constantly gaining XP, um, which is something smart. It's like what Call of Duty does to make you feel like you're always making gains, which I think is a really cool idea. All right, so we'll probably go uh, one more fight. I think you've seen a lot of Goro here. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to actually... I'm going to back out and give you guys a different variation of Goro uh, before we wrap up. All right, so I want to make sure you got to see this uh, Dragon Breath Goro here with his flaming mouth. Um, so we'll just fight against uh, Melina uh, just for an interesting battle here. Um, and we'll go to the jungle, and you'll get to see him flame breath it up. I love the variation system in World Combat X. I think it's one of the coolest things because it does, not entirely, but it kind of triples the amount of fighters in the game, which... You know, it's something that very few games can say. So his Dragon Breath um, is like the rest of his moves, a back forward Y, and the Flame Ball um, is another projectile. I think he loses his other blast. Yeah, he gains, instead gains that one, so it's a more powerful um, move. And you'll see that when you charge it up here, if I can get it to pull off. Gosh. Come on, Melina, I'm trying to breathe fire on you there. I don't know. There. It's an actual projectile, I suppose, just like a fire. Um, the Dragon Breath, he goes like, well, come on, Melina, we want to see this there. <laughs> It's pretty freaking ferocious if you ask me. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm some dynamic dinosaur. Like I said, like straight out of Jurassic Park. Come here. Oh yeah, big fire, but that's so sweet. 
All right, we'll finish Melina off here and then get you guys out of here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see next. Goro is, again, a DLC character, only available through pre-order. I don't think he's on the store yet, uh, but you will be able to get him soon. Until next time, though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Let's me know that you want more videos uh, and help support me very mucho, and I appreciate it super lot. So until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. Drink some much, watch out for Melina, and we will see you all later.